Hello, inflatable fans. I'm back on the water. I'm testing out another new boat. I've got myself a Gummatex. You can hear how squeaky that is. And I've got the lime green twist two, so it can be set up as a one person, which I've got it set up now, or it can be used as a two. And I'm on the the river Derwent, that's a think then. And it's an afternoon for a change. You know I'm normally out in the morning. Because I just thought I wanted to get out. I only picked this up yesterday. Got it from Manchester Canoes. And I uh, wanted to get out and give it a whirl. A little bit breezy today. You can probably see it in the ripples on the water. Before we go any further, we'll set the GPS going, then we can track the journey and see how fast this boat is. Right, let's get paddling. Not going far, just going for a little paddle. As I say, just to test it out. You know like cars have that new car smell? Well, this has that new boat smell. <laughs> moving quite nicely against the current and against this northerly wind which is heading directly at me and we're moving at around three miles an hour just at this moment in time which is quite respectable The launch point where I'm at, where I've launched from, is the Brayton Ferry and it is near a little airfield. It's looking a bit menacing over there, isn't it? I don't think that's travelling in my direction though. This is where it opens up quite a bit here. It's been a while since I've paddled in one of these wide chambered inflatables. The only other one that I've got that's like that, actually I tell a lie, I've got two. So I've got the Blue Born Coastier and the Intex Challenger K1. What I can tell you right from the start with this Gummatex is it feels a lot more durable than both of those. And the Blue Born is actually a double skin. How's your lunch? All right. Good stuff. I wonder if that stuff by the uh, that grows in the water is super lush for cows. They seem to be enjoying it. There's quite a few of them in it. Hello. Up ahead in the distance, the church is just coming into view. And then up here on the left, I haven't looked this up yet, maybe I will have done by the time I upload this and put it on the screen. It's a disused railway bridge, by the look of it. It's one that's been taken down, maybe it fell down, who knows, eh? Quite a few arches to it. From where I am, I can count four, possibly five. Sounds like a helicopter's up again. got me thinking is that one of the things I've always wanted to do is have a go in a helicopter take a helicopter flight and I wonder if they do kind of like little 
trips on their test flights, that kind of thing. Gonna have to look into that one. Seems to track okay, does this boat? A little bit of side to side motion, but not too much. What I am wondering is if maybe I might be sat a little bit too far forward. I don't know. I feel as though I'm slap bang in the middle. But it also feels like there's an awful lot of boat behind me. Not sure. And of course, with it being a low pressure one, you don't have that same rigidity when you press on the sides for moving around. And I've kind of got used to that. Mm. chatty today. It's a little more sheltered here from the, uh, from the breeze and you can see that in the uh, reflections in the water. Bit of a grey day, but what the hey, it's all good when you're having a paddle. And all the more better when you're in a new boat. <laughs> I do like that church by the waterside. I really am intending to spend quite a bit of time exploring the Derwent further up. You can see the first paddle I took in the Go Plus kayak. I did a couple of miles and I'm not even going that far today. And I want to go way beyond that because it's just one of those rivers that is so serene and passes through some beautiful countryside. You hear the birds? Yeah, check out the reflections. little places to live down here isn't there although I do find myself wondering what they're like when the river's in flood so in case any of you are wondering what um, I use to record these trips on there is a rubber-legged tripod with bendy legs and a GoPro Hero 7 Black. I did use some external microphones at one point, but I just found that a bit too risky on the water, so I'm just relying on the microphone in the GoPro. It's not the best, but it's okay. And it, as you can see, there is a wind protector around the camera, which just helps reduce the wind noise a little bit. <laughs> Not seen any ducks today yet, Mart. Well, I'm out. Let's just do a few shout outs. So let's just say hi to Brad. More than just a cleaner's top fan. Oldest friend. Who usually watches these. Roadkill. Who never watches these. He only watches the ones with him in it. I think just to make sure he hasn't been a total buffoon. And, um, who else can we shout out to? Mart, I haven't seen any ducks on here yet, Mart. Mark Lloyd from Florida. The Gator Man, I think I think I like I think I'm gonna call him the Gator Man. 
and Claire, there's a new lady called Claire who's been watching. She's especially likes the kayaking video, so hello Claire. I think she's been following me on Instagram too. She's kind of cool. Oh, the wind's picking up. So I wonder if the camera will pick that up. Or well, the microphone on it anyway. Yeah, few shout outs. Hi there. We're coming up to a road bridge. A little bit uh, just around this bend here. That's where I'm going to turn around today. As I say, just a short trip. Even with that little bridge there, it's still pretty quiet out here. It's only a little country road, road bridge. It's not like when I passed under the A1 bridge, eh? Wow, that was a noisy one in the Borough Bridge trip. Right, so this is where I'm going to turn around. I seem to be averaging, when I wasn't fanning around with the camera, around 2.8 to 3 miles an hour. We'll know when I have a look at the stats, and I'll put those on the screen. Um, what distance have I done? I've done about 1.5 miles, so not far, and done that in 44 minutes. So, as I say, this has been the fanning around with the camera bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera in hyperlapse for the journey back and then we'll see how long it takes me to go back. Bearing in mind the wind will be behind me, the current will be behind me, the current is already starting to take me that way and we'll see how long that takes. I don't think this is going to be as fast as the drop stitch boats but actually <laughs> it's quite a steady breeze today. We'll see how it goes. See you when I get back. So what do I think of the Gummatex Twist? It feels good, it feels nice and stable on the water, it tracks quite well, and it does feel robust. I'm not sure what's going on with the seat, because it's completely deflated while I've been out in it, and the valve is locked shut. So that's not a particularly good sign, I'm not enamoured with that. But yeah, it is nice, it's a nice boat. I'll probably use a stadium seat in there with one of my cushions in because I think that'll feel more comfortable. So I've been out for about... Uh, helicopters interrupting my flow there, look. Pearls are doing this near an airfield. <laughs> I'll put the stats on the screen somewhere and you've got some, it'll give you some idea of the average speed of this kind of craft and the slower speeds, the slower collection at the beginning will be the upriver and then downriver with the, will be the faster ones. Uh, and also as I was traveling upriver, as I mentioned, I was fanning around with the camera. I hope you've liked this little video. Quite enjoyed trying this out. It's been a good little experiment, quite enjoyed the craft. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down because that's up to you. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification. It doesn't cost you anything, it just means you get a notification when you open YouTube up if ever I've uploaded any more videos. And you wouldn't want to miss out now, would you? Alright, you take care of yourself and as I say, thank you so much for watching. Cheerio!